Welcome to Fit Mark Fitness. Does this workout work? Fit here. Today we're going to look at the Insanity Workout Series. Now I don't know about you, but I've heard a whole lot about this Insanity, and I hear a lot of bragging about it. If you've ever met someone who has completed this program, they get some t-shirt that says they sweated through this program. You hear the big storehouse, the hardest thing on the planet. It's not for everybody. Only the most elite can finish it. You got to be the best of the best. So I kind of got tired of hearing it, so I'm ready to give it a shot, see how it goes. Now, I've taken a look at this thing so far, and what I've seen is a series of workouts that are 45 minutes or so, maybe an hour long. Uh, they're all cardio. All of them are a variation of cardio. And to be honest, I'm not sure what you can do different in a 45-minute cardio workout that I haven't already done in my 45-minute and hour-long cardio workouts. So, come with me. We're going to go check it out and see exactly what all the hype is. All I got to say is, dang, never has there been a more appropriately titled workout in the history of mankind. This thing truly is insane, and you've got to be psychotic to want to do it. Uh, it is just basically just a sheer hour of terror. The best way I can describe this program to you is just kind of walk you through one of the DVDs. Most of their DVDs are about the same program. They just emphasize different workouts but they're all about the same. We're going to look at plyometrics. Now, he advertises this as a circuit training. I quickly realized that Sean T. has no clue what circuit training is. Circuit training is you work for a little bit, you take a quick break, you work a little, take a quick break. He doesn't get that concept. He starts you right off by running in place. So I start running in place, and he's encouraging to go faster and faster. And Next thing I know, he says, on to jumping jacks. Now, I ran in place for 30 seconds. That's more than I generally like for a circuit, but I didn't get the 10-second break after that. He just said, while running in place, move the jumping jacks, and you slid straight into jumping jacks without a break. Well, that's a little scary. So, well, this goes on to another exercise, another, and another, and another. And after about five or six of these things, and you honestly think you're at death's doorstep, he says, okay, we're about to finish up with circuit one. And you're thinking, thank the Lord, I need a break. No break. While he's doing the last exercise, he says, okay, we're going to repeat circuit one now twice as fast. Let's go. Twice as fast? It wasn't fast enough to begin with? No break? Dear Lord. 
Well, I kept up. I pushed it and pushed it, went from exercise to exercise, thinking I'll never make it through this circuit. And when we get to the last exercise in that circuit, he starts counting down. I'm thinking, Jack, I can make it through this. I can make it through this. I'm in shape. Apparently, I'm not in shape because he said, okay, let's do this circuit the third time. Now, keep in mind, he doesn't take a break to say that. He says that while he's exercising, so you slide straight into the third exercise or the third circuit. Oh, by the way, we're supposed to go even faster. So at this time, we're in full speed sprint, wide open, full throttle. And as we're getting into this third circuit, now we're, we're seven to eight minutes into this workout, <clears throat> and we are going full speed. You know, that's what distance runners do, full speed for seven or eight minutes, and they call it a two-mile run. This was psychotic. Well, as we're getting to the end, he actually tells us we're going to get a 30-second break. Oh, thank you, God. It's, uh, we need a break. And he counts down the last few seconds. I collapse on the ground, and that SOB actually says, all right, we're through with the warm-up. That was a warm-up. That's what he calls a warm-up. You talk about a bad omen for things to come. But the good news is we're going into the stretching section of this DVD. Okay, good. I can use five to seven minutes of stretching and let my heart come down some. No, no, he doesn't understand the concept of stretching either. Stretching is, you know, hold your arm out, pull on it, you know, bend over, stretch your hamstring. No, 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 no. He believes in yoga. If anyone's ever done yoga, you'll quickly learn yoga is exhausting. You're holding positions and poses. So all of his stretching was more of all your muscles engaged, flexing, thinking you're going to collapse. So our break period was about seven to eight minutes of yoga heck. All right, now for the scary part. I honestly think I'm near dead, and we haven't started the workout. And I have a pretty good idea what's getting ready to come, and he did not disappoint. More of what the warm-up was on, but on steroids. Uh, no breaks. Now, I made a commitment to myself for doing this video that I would not only keep up with the trainers the whole time, I wouldn't hit the pause button. I would stay with the top dogs. <laughs> You ought to try that sometime. <clears throat> the only good news is that all the trainers and super athletes in the background they had working out with them, they were falling over like flies during this thing. So I figured if those super fit models can't keep up, I didn't feel so bad. But for what's worth, I did keep it up. And that's more the same. Just go, 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 go for 20 minutes straight without a single break. Well, he had one 30-second break in there, but it, it was brutal. So... I made it almost to the last circuit. I got to the last circuit, and to be honest with you, my body shut down. I had three exercises to go, and I quit. I collapsed on the floor. I blacked out. Didn't come to. Uh, when I basically woke up and got up, I realized, I think I'd done enough. That's enough to say I've try, tried that particular workout. Okay. In a nutshell, this thing is hard, 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 hard. It is not for beginners. It's not for pretty much anyone else. Uh... Does this workout work? That's a real good question because I honestly believe if you can do this workout, you don't need to. You're already in pretty good shape. It may work out for a, an Olympic athlete who kind of wants to up his game, but the average people, this is a little bit over it, about everybody's head. So those folks that uh, were the I sweated through this or I completed the uh, Insanity workout, they deserve some bragging rights. All you folks on the P90X, uh, I hate to tell you, but you're the B team. That, that ain't got nothing compared to this program. Uh, anyhow, that's what I've got to say about insanity. And remember, the best workout is the workout that you'll actually do.